a dinner later we should be able to uh, remove this metal remove the clips <coughs> release some tension hopefully I can do this by hand yes I can oh the other one is a little bit tighter so they're both uh, untensioned now I should be able to remove this one tension is off remove this one now I need something to pry in between you can see it is stretched so hard it will stay like this so that's really nice next time I'll uh, make it smaller because I, uh, I was aiming for this but I should aim for of course this if this fits then that's okay the frame doesn't have to fit and I'll show you why I'm learning as I go. Where is my knife? There it is. <clears throat> this one looks really nice, I must say. So, it should be free now. Look at this. Ain't that nice? I think it's nice. Now, it's still connected to the roll. So I snip it off. So this one is free. In the background you hear my coffee being um, complete. And I'm gonna save it because I managed to burn my milk today. So badly, it took me like three hours to clean it. Not by me, but with some acid, <laughs> because I am lazy. And then I uh, finally could make some coffee and I straight away burn it again. So this time I'm going over there right now to save it. So, ooh, I removed my uh, that way pump. Pump. And uh, now we're gonna pry this open. At least I hope. Okay. So uh, that's what you get. Especially this side, with this side is the most important. And as you can see, or you might not be, the distance is everywhere the same from wire to 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 this spacer not sure at all about the the type of glue I think there is better glue I mean uh, super glue is really brittle it creeps everywhere it makes a mess uh, not the best this is the one I made with the HPL. It's nice, it's solid, but it's uh, so much work. Might find a substitute. I mean, this works, but of course it's not, it's not my ideal either. So I might go to Hobby King, and I think they got the uh, four millimeters by or five millimeters by five millimeters wide rods or I might use the four and do the same as I did with these uh, sticks but then with uh, solid plastic rod ABS plastic so this should line up sort of I even used many holes to um, be able to tap them not sure if I'm gonna do that, but 
that's what you get. Still uh, quite clear, so it lines up rather okay. You can see the first time I made the wires even longer and they're not as nicely straight as, as with this, the newer one. I changed these plates with the nails in it. Uh, I redesigned it so this one looks good and I should be able to leave less wire here and the same goes for the bottom but for now it's okay but would be nice to have the wires here and only these uh, stick out because that's wires that I need to solder to but so this works and uh, I might as well tap one of these so I have to decide which one is gonna be housing the miler and which one is just gonna be the backstator or doesn't really matter front or back but uh, not gonna house the miler I think I'll use this one for the miler I think this is the, the most solid one this is also quite solid but this one I glued yesterday this one I glued today so this is gonna house the miler so I should have drilled all these holes wider because I left them small so I can could tap them but I probably do it by hand I'll do it off camera because it's pretty boring and I'm not gonna drill them all I think half of it and I'm gonna tap also half of it okay so that's what I'm gonna do uh, and I put up the stretching jig as well so I'm gonna finish this add glue and then go to the stretching jig because I want to have a foil on this before tonight it, it is already tonight before midnight I hope so I tapped all the holes and now it's uh, off to uh, add my favorite glue. It's 30 and a half. Let me get. The, ah shit, the thing is drying of course. So I cannot lay it on there. But that's okay, I'm gonna measure the resonance of this. So if I'm um, thinking this is okay -ish tension, then at least I can reproduce it. That's around 46. 50, 55, I think I'll sell for 60 if I can read, 58, 59, 60. So it's 60 hertz uh, with this surface area. This is the surface area of a quad panel. <coughs> So it's not my tiny panel that I'm gonna put on there. It's not gonna have 60 uh, resonance, 60 hertz. More like, uh, I don't know, 300? I don't know, just a gamble. But uh, at least if I want to, if you know, if I liked it, I at least have some reference. If I just stretch it by hand like some people do, it's completely random. You don't know what you're doing, you cannot repeat it. Uh, at least this I can repeat. I have to put it upside down to do the piece on the backside. If there's room anywhere here.
Turn that off. Sorry. Get me. Don't want to reel off. Break my leg. Break my leg. Thanks. Tell who's. What's up? Fishing me up. Make it. I coded it in the concussion we made earlier and uh, it's good to know scrap that one unless you're gonna use it straight away because what happened is um, the carbon settled out of solution and I formed a cake and at the bottom of the thing so it was unusable I didn't I was not able to get any conductivity uh, so I thought, oh well, let's look in the, let's look at the bottom of it, see if there's uh, crap collecting, and it was there was like a cake. So that one, although it was very thin, and you can make it yourself, scrap it. Sorry about that. Well, I'm sorry, I couldn't know. Uh, it did work. Uh, apparently, it it does work, but it has a shelf uh, life of like uh, two weeks. Not even probably, maybe a few days. So um, yeah, not not very useful. So I still I still need to find a good coating, but for now I use the the commercial available Licron Crystal. Uh, it's the same as uh, the stuff from Australia. Uh, also, at least the way it conducts, also the same as that aside. But this one I tried yesterday after the disaster with the carbon. I tried this one and it dries up like uh, scales, like a, not a uniform coating. So this one is either it's going bad or it sucks. Or it sucks even harder than Licron. But for my test panel I use Licron right now because it's the only one I, I'm not going to make a, another kind of coating right now uh, because I have some other stuff that I, that I can try I got some carbon based ink left from Liquitex which conducts and has far far finer particles than uh, the stuff I used uh, in the last video so uh, I would be surprised if if I use that stuff and it will go out of solution uh, I, it definitely won't but also it doesn't have as much carbon as the other things. What I did, I put Licron crystal on here and used a foam brush to uh, make an even coating. And then I used the stuff I used before for the um, to make the coating. It's a, it's a thick paint with loads of carbon. Um, to create this line here, this black line, and uh, it's there, so it has a better contact to the opposite side of the panel. I attached the copper strip here, but if you just use the copper strip directly on the Licron, uh, chances are uh, really big that the Licron will. Uh, yeah, it will be destroyed around this edge of the copper and uh, then after a while you don't have any conductivity. So it's sort of um, an in-between thing. <clears throat> so I could, I should be able to get rid of this. Yeah, this also thing, this kind of tape, I'm not going to use it anymore because uh, it will loosen up when using Licron and then it creeps underneath it, as you can see. So I masked it, but it's still everywhere. So that sucks. Quite hard. So, I am gonna clean this a little bit with some alcohol, because uh, <clears throat> alcohol will get rid of the Licron. And I don't want conductivity all over the panel. This is really a bitch that this happens. So I'm gonna clean just the edge.
and you have to clean it very well because if it slightly conducts then you're still fucked so this uh, started as a really solid project and it became again a fiddling uh, Frenchie friends friends Frenchy, French, well, I don't know. Should cut the miler more cleanly next time. <laughs> this is what happens if you want to finish something while actually it is time to go to bed and stop fucking around. <coughs> At least that happens to me because I'm impatient and uh, impatient and I want things done, and then I do the, I do them uh, crappy, badly. So we're gonna get our soldering iron. Just gotta poke some holes. Boop. Or iron. This is the way to go if you don't want to rip the miner. Out my pen. What's underneath there? Okay, that's good. Now we have the other half and we should be able to just sandwich them. In a, in a final version of course we're gonna glue this wire against this uh, stator piece so it doesn't vibrate and such. <clears throat> I had some nice stainless screws and hopefully that fits. You could use nylon bolts or something as well, but uh, I did not coat uh, where the screws go. So if the masking tape was better, I was pretty sure it doesn't conduct. In this case, I'm not so sure. This is not the right size. It's green, green I need. It's nice. Yeah, it's all done. But it's not easy. 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 Well, quite okay. There's one thing uh, that's nice about the liquor that you can see through. I'm gonna make some coffee and uh, attach these. One uh, last thing, the copper strip. I need to put a wire on it, of course, otherwise uh, it's not gonna work. This is my choice. You know, because why not? It's a high voltage wire, I think they're And I have a problem, I mean. It's a solar. You can use a little bit of well, you know, some flux solar. Um, I have covered it and covered it solar so much, of course. I don't need any flux, so I prefer covered it. Some people say it might be covered with corrosion due to high voltage, but, or corrosion anyways, because it's covered with corrosion. Um, it'll enable corrosion as well. Differently, but corrosion. So, done. 